So just how are those students who were transported doing tonight? For the latest, let's go to Heather Hope, who is live at Rady Children's Hospital. Heather? And Kelly, this is just one of about four hospitals that those affected from today's chemical spill were taken. At Rady's Children's, there were about eight students taken, and this is where all the doctors say they were released, and they're doing okay. I'm feeling a little bit better. Danielle Barty felt dizzy at Santee's Rio Seco Elementary School after a chlorine spill. She just has a mild headache, a little bit hungry, a little bit tired. But as far as like the exposure, they said it was not enough for them to, to be really concerned. So She and 80 others were sent to the hospital. Just my head, and, my head and my stomach really hurt a lot. Bus loads were taken to Sharp Memorial Hospital, treating 19 students and one adult. Uh, I've been a nurse here for 13 years, and we haven't had a big chlorine exposure like this. Crowds of parents and children waited as each student was being evaluated by a physician. We're basically just going to tell the parents to make sure they're hydrated, Tylenol for headaches, and of course they can return if they have any further symptoms. 14 students were taken to Sharp Chula Vista. 14 more with two adults were taken to Sharp Grossmont. You know, we're prepared for this. We have a disaster plan in place, and today we just got to reenact that, so we're very prepared. Eight more were taken to Rady Children's. It's typically a mucous membrane irritant, watery eyes, cough, some mild shortness of breath. Because none of the children were really close to the chlorine leak, all had mild symptoms that should not cause damage. And I can't imagine a chemical spill being that big to affect a, a nearby school, but but I guess it has. All affected were released and sent home. Everything's good. All the kids are good. The hospital says that the school did everything right as far as triaging students there at the school and then bringing here for emergency care. They say after a good night's rest, all should be expected to recover. We'll send it back to you, Carlo. Thanks, Heather.